Self-confidence is something that you learn to build up over the years because the challenging world of business and life in general can deflate it. No one was born with limitless self-confidence. Hi everyone, I am Lena Cola. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I currently work as an analyst. I hold a degree in computer science and I am one semester away from acquiring another degree in social work. On my channel, I will be posting videos on depression, child abuse, and any issue that affects humanity. I also post videos to motivate, to inspire, and I also share the songs that I sing. Please be sure to subscribe for new content as I post every weekend and comment below to introduce yourself. I'd like to know who you are. I can assure you that you can transform yourself with these eight ways that I am going to share with you about confidence. The first way is to keep a positive mindset. This is key to overcoming any situation. Positive thinking and behavior help with stress management and can even improve your health. Practice overcoming negative self-talk. I am sure you've heard this over and over, that you need to take care of yourself. Hygiene is extremely important. And if you ever have to worry about looking great, make sure that you groom yourself. Do you care what others think? This took me a long time to learn because I genuinely love and care for others. So if you want to be more confident, you have to stop trying to please everyone and do the things that you love to do. At the end of the day, people do not care about what you really do. They will talk anyhow. Mother Teresa had haters. Mahatma Gandhi had haters. Martin Luther King had haters. Mandela had haters. Oprah Winfrey and Ellen DeGeneres have haters. And no matter what you do, you will have people not liking you at all. So learn to love yourself and learn to do the things that pleases you, the things that makes you, things that make you happy. Do those things and you will be all right. So choose friends who are positive and who are very influential. Positive friends make us healthier and happier. They reduce stress and can even help us to live longer. Take care of numero uno. Studies prove that gratitude can increase happiness, reduce depression and strengthen resiliency. Grateful people often experience reduced blood pressure, less chronic pain, increased energy, even longer lives. People who purposefully express more gratitude report higher self-esteem than those who don't, and they're more likely to help others, a pro-social behavior also linked to greater happiness. People who capture grateful thoughts before bed sleep better than those who don't. Why so many positive changes? because gratitude actually rewires our brains, kickstarting the production of dopamine and serotonin. Like antidepressants, these feel-good neurotransmitters activate the bliss center of the brain, creating feelings of happiness and contentment. This appears to be self-perpetuating. Research suggests that with regular practice, you'll train your prefrontal cortex to better appreciate and retain positive experiences and thoughts, and to deflect the negative ones. Here are a few simple ways to deliberately cultivate that attitude of gratitude. Celebrate minor accomplishments. Think about what you have rather than dwelling on what you don't. Tell the people in your life something you appreciate about them. Tell yourself too. Volunteer. Hold a door for a stranger or simply smile. Face your fears. As long as you are in control, you will not be afraid. Strengthen your mind and silence any negative thoughts. 
wear your best clothes sounds a little vain right agreed but you know how the saying goes if you look good you feel good this will certainly help to boost your confidence i give credit to my friend tamara de rizio for this one she said when she dresses up she feels so good and she feels very confident in herself find your limits and expose yourself to different situations even if they make you uncomfortable you'd be amazed at the confidence that you achieve just from being in situations and overcoming them so thank you so much for watching we have come to the end of this video on confidence please remember to subscribe like comment share with your friends and your family and click that notification bell to alert you on the new video subscribe now and click the bell